Hi, this is Carl from Web Courses Bangkok, and in this screencast, we're going to be learning how to do slicing and dicing of the design that we previously created. We first need to decide what we're going to slice, then slice it nice and tight, and then we're going to save in the best format, ready to do our HTML and CSS. So, let's get started. We'll start by opening the design that we did last week. So, go to session two. And inside here you'll see the beginner web design. Now you'll be using the one that you created, but for this screencast we're going to be using the one that's already been prepared. When you're slicing and dicing, the first thing you need to decide is what you're going to slice. It's very easy to see because you only slice the images. The rest you do with code. So for example, I don't need to slice your name because I'm going to be using HTML code. First of all, I'm going to zoom in, so I'm just going to press Z on the keyboard and then just click and zoom in. If you need to move around, hold down space. It's important to get used to doing that because it allows you to navigate around your design very quickly and when you're doing slicing and dicing, you need to be very, very precise. When slicing and dicing, I personally find it easier to remove all the guidelines. Now the easy way to do that is holding down control or command if you're on a Mac and press H. The reason it's easy is because it stops it snapping to the grid and we want to do it ourselves this time. To select the slice tool you just need to go 5 down and it's just hiding underneath the crop tool. Alternative you can just press C. So select the slice tool and then what we're going to do is draw a box exactly around the image. So I'm just going to start very roughly like this but then I'm going to go in and just make it very very precise you want to go right to the edge of the image so for example if I zoom in here I can see I'm not quite at the edge of the image I'm about one pixel away hold down C and move it in and there you go it's perfect I'm holding down space again to get everything as perfect as possible now here's a great example of some of the problems when you're slicing and dicing. Now I can't get that right to the edge so if you hold down control when you're moving it you can actually move it just little bits or you can use the arrow key to move it up but that does mean you have to then move it down at the top. Now it does take a little bit of practice but as soon as you get it you'll be able to get it perfectly on online and there we go. So again I'm going to go on the right hand side here now it's really up to you whether you want to um, have the shading on the side or whether you want to let that um, be on and again that's up to you so now we've got that nice and tight we can then name it to name a slice you right click edit slice options the name I'd like you to give is logo portfolio okay then click OK now importantly that will become logo portfolio dot either JPEG GIF or PNG the file type will decide a little bit later but that actual name becomes the file that this image will be again let's hold down space and move our way down to the main banner and I need to zoom out on this one a little bit just so I can see what I'm doing wonderful right so I don't need to do the uh, the navigation because I'm going to use code for that so I need to slice this so again I'm just going to do it quite rough and then I go in and get it nice and perfect so I can see here I'm a couple of pixels off quickly press C just to get it nice and tight there alright there we go nice and then we move over here all the way to the left hand side oh that's it we move that over brilliant okay double check the bottom the top looks fine right so that's ready to name now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click again inside the slice edit slice options and we're gonna give it a name now a little tip from me is always put what the type of image is first and then the unique name for example banner homepage if you do everything individually as, as the, the unique name, when you have like lots and lots of files, it's very, very difficult to find sort of groups of what things are. So if you put banner for everything and you've got, you know, say 10 or 15 banners, it's very easy to spot when you're looking at all the files. Great, we've got a couple more images to do, so I'm just going to zoom out. And there we go. And here we are. We've got now 
our website examples. Now here's a great example of being very careful about what you slice. A lot of people what they do is they would slice something like this but unfortunately we have a shadow here so when you put that on your website you'd see that the shadow is missing and since it's such a nice shadow I think we should have it in. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit press C to select my slice tool and just move that over like that just so I've actually got the shadow as well okay so again I'm nice and tightly up against the bottom there and then we're just going to get this shadow on the left hand side perfect Oh, we can nip a little bit of space up at the top zoom out a little bit double check looks perfect to me so let's re right click edit slice options and then we're just going to call it websites very simple okay right let's move on and now we've got our two icons down here now there is a number of ways of doing this um, we could do it as one but the problem with that is that if we did both of these icons as one it means we could only make it link to one place so that's why we slice them individually and now this one's behaving quite nicely but I do need to move it down a little bit and just move it up like that and again this one now what I can do is I can actually copy this slice over if you want to copy a slice hold down alt and drag across and it's a very very nice way to make sure you have exactly the right size let me do that again so I'm going to delete the slice by holding pressing delete so first of all select the slice and sometimes you might find that you have to right click to select a slice so right click or click depending on which works and then hold down alt click and drag across and then you know that you've sliced exactly the same size All right. Now let's name these. So right click, edit slice options, and I do believe this is an icon, so I'm going to call it icon Twitter. And on this one as well, right click, edit slice options, icon Facebook. Okay? Click OK. Now you'll notice when you select a slice that it goes brown and you can see it being highlighted. So if I right click or right click, and that's how you select a slice. If I want to resize it, I can resize it from here. I'll make it bigger, wider, or shorter. Okay? So now we've sliced everything that we need. I'm just going to zoom out by clicking Control and minus. Hold down space. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five slices. Now, important to see is that you'll see other slices around like this. Now, the reason that Adobe Photoshop does that is because it also allows you to save as HTML. But, unfortunately, the HTML that it creates isn't exactly what we need. So, what we do is we slice the user slices here. We slice what we need. We don't slice everything. However, Photoshop says, well, I'll give you a bit of a hand, mate, so I'll, uh, I'll slice around it for you as well. So that's what you see when you see these other numbers as well. So now we have our slices, we are ready to save. Okay, so I'd like you to go to File, Save for Web and Devices. And that's very important distinction, not Save As, because that's saving the PSD so you can edit it for later. We need to have some nice flat images that we can put into our code. So just click on Save for Web and Devices, and you'll see the Save for Web and Devices panel pop up. Now the important thing about saving is that we want to save it in the right place. So first of all I'm just going to click on save and then it will bring up the desktop and this is where I'd like you to save it. So this is my desktop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and make a new folder. I'm just going to call this beginner web root. Nice and easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click inside because this is where I want to save all my images inside this root folder. And this is where we're going to be making the website in later series. Now what we need to do is change something very important and that is the slices. Like I said before, Photoshop gives you all the other slices. So if you want 27 slices that you don't really want, then I recommend you change this to all user slices which means that only the ones that we selected will be saved as images. 
Now, format, images only, settings, default, slices, all user slices. Now, the file name here, interestingly enough, doesn't matter because we've already individually named the files that we're creating. So, I'm in beginner's root. I've got my file name there, not important right now. The slices, all user slices. So click on save and then when you're there you'll be able to go to your desktop and check out your images. So now that we've saved I'm just gonna close down Photoshop and I can see here is my folder beginner root and inside there I have images and then I have my five images. Okay now let's pretend that we missed one of them. Let's pretend that we need or maybe an extra slice. So what I need to do I'm just gonna click on the logo and I'm actually going to delete that. Right, so we need to get that slice again. So back to Photoshop and then again just file and save for web and devices. Select the slice that you missed or the slice that you've added and then click save. Now this time we're going to be doing all selected slices here. Slices, selected slices. Unless you want to resave them all. Now, what I do not want you to do is go inside this folder that's been created. See, Photoshop knows what we're doing. It knows that we're web designers. And it knows that normally images are kept in, surprisingly enough, the images folder. So, don't go inside, but just stay here so you can see the name of the folder. Now, click on Save, and there you go. If it asks you to replace, that's fine. Minimize and then you'll see now we've got the slice. So that was slicing and dicing. We've now got our five images ready for our HTML and CSS stage. Great, and if you have any questions about our courses or this screencast, please go to www.webcoursesbangkok.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.